This cyclone is nothing to be uh, indifferent about. Uh, it is one of the strongest cyclones that we've seen in the South Pacific. I know we said that last year about Pam, and now it's another one, and it just keeps getting worse. Um, entire villages are being or have been wiped out, uh, and uh, there are extensive damage in the north, in the east of the country, in particular in the outer islands, Kordo Island, uh, of course, which everyone talks about. Uh, we have aerial surveillance that shows that uh, there's basically not a structure left. And uh, that was the home to uh, 3,500 people or thereabouts. So uh, it's a bad, bad situation for a lot of people. We were talking with Cathy from the Red Cross, Cathy Wong from the Red Cross, and she says access is a real issue in terms of simply getting medical care, water, any kind of rudimentary shelter into those people. What can the UN do to help with that stuff? Well, first, uh, this is a real example of the logistical challenges that we always talk about in the Pacific. You really see, again, you have uh, a country uh, that, is, uh, that has a reasonably good infrastructure, um, and yet, uh, with so many islands affected, it's going to take days to really get to people. Um, what the UN can do together with the, uh, with the uh, uh, member states that are supporting, as well as, uh, of course, the, the lead of the government, is to really uh, try to put available uh, uh, technical expertise to help in their assessments. Um, and then, of course, uh, with support of Australia, for example, and New Zealand and France, uh, really try to also get the hardware that can bring us out to the affected uh, people. Because many of these uh, islands do not have landing strips. So getting there is a question of getting on a boat, um, sail for a couple of days and get off, and then uh, start helping immediately. Do you need more help? It's hard to say right now if we need more help. I think there's a lot of offers of support, uh, including a lot of offers of uh, support for hardware, but also technical capacity, goods, relief goods, etc. cetera. Um, I'm not going to say uh, three days after the disaster that we have enough, not at all. Um, I think uh, it's fair to say that there will be a great need for uh, support in this disaster, uh, also in terms of shelter kits uh, to make sure that people have roofs over their heads, uh, medical health care, wash, etc. Um, but the government is still establishing an overview, and we as partners are lining up to support with whatever the government thinks that uh, they need and what the people need. So uh, I think at this stage, it's about gearing up. So for those that are interested in helping, uh, getting ready to gear up, but also getting ready to support in a coordinated fashion. We need to have uh, a well-working uh, uh, aid structure and aid machine here. We cannot just have people running everywhere, giving out. Uh, left, right, and center what they think is necessary, because then uh, things uh, will become very difficult. Suni, with entire communities simply devastated, the aerial photos suggest some have just been wiped off the face of the earth, basically, in terms of the structure that is there. How long will it take for Fiji to rebuild? Are we talking a very long time? I can't tell how long it's going to take. Pacific resilience is quite uh, extraordinary. And I think communities' ability, uh, often in these situations, to uh, bounce back uh, quickly uh, is amazing. We've seen that in other cyclones. Uh, and of course, uh, this is uh, a region of the world where communities are used to be isolated. They're used to be hit by cyclones. They're used to build back. Um, so my hope is that it won't be long. Uh, of course, there, have, there has been a lot of damage, and, and we need to make sure that people get back on their feet. But I do think we should not undermine uh, the mindset of the people, which is this, this will, we will get back. Um, we can support them. We will support them. But I hope it's not going to be a long, drawn-out uh, uh, recovery process. But, of course, it will take time. It will take time.